Yeah, here is comedian and presenter Ryan Hand exploring the mystery of the vanishing lake. This may look like your typical Northern Irish countryside, but there's nothing bog standard about it. Here in the County Antrim Hills lie the dark waters of Loch Arima, also known as the Vanishing Lake. Some days the lake's there, on others it's completely gone, leaving the locals scratching their heads. I've seen it empty and in one 24-hour period filled completely. You're just fascinated by it, you just can't believe it. Like, why it's disappearing? Like, lakes are supposed to stay there and be there. That's mysterious, there's definitely a lot of myths about it. Local writer and storyteller Liz Weir grew up hearing all about the legends of the lake. Loch Arima itself comes from the Irish, which means the water that runs away. And it's like magic. But in the past, this strange phenomena posed a grave danger. And in 1898, a mysterious accident occurred here when a horse-drawn carriage encountered the lake. The road was very different in those days. It was built almost through the lake, like a track going through it. Colonel John McNeil and his coach and horses, coachman, were came along here, and the road was flooded. They say the coachman stopped. The colonel told him to drive on. And when they got into the water, the colonel and the coachman and the horses all foundered in the lake. But nowadays, you know, they say if you come along this road at night, you hear. You can hear, still hear the ghostly coach coming along. Between eerie misty mountains and tales of vanishing lakes, I need some cold hard facts. Paul Wilson is a hydrogeologist. Paul, here we are slap bang in the middle of the lake, which would usually be full of water. If we were here in a day, whenever it's actually got water in it, ordinarily the level would actually be probably up over our heads. Paul only began researching Loch Arima in recent years, but he'd been fascinated by it since childhood. We'd be travelling up this way on our holidays with my parents, and they'd be saying, hey, boys, look at, the, look at the vanishing lake. And I just thought, this is a great place to do some work. So did some surveying in the area, then started to understand, oh, my goodness, this is actually really cool, uh, the way this works and operates. And it's not like anything that's, ha that's been reported before. The lake fills up because it's fed by three streams. The mystery of why it sometimes vanishes is down to an interesting geological feature, a sinkhole. Here we are, Paul, at the famous sinkhole, and I have to say, it's absolutely breathtaking. It's gigantic. Yeah, and you're very lucky to actually see it like this today because whenever there's normally a lake here, you just see the water surface and you've no idea that this is underneath. Lakes usually have rivers or streams leading out of them, draining water towards the ocean at roughly the same rate as they are being filled. This lake is different. There are no rivers draining out of it. Instead, the water empties downwards through the sinkhole and into the rocks below. You don't get sinkholes unless you have limestone chalk rock. The slightly acidic water in the rivers dissolves away the chalk and the rocks all broken up and it makes it more vulnerable for the water to get down into the ground. Paul's research shows that over the years, the chalk will continue dissolving, allowing more and more water to escape. And eventually, the lake will vanish forever. So if you want to see this geological wonder for yourself, you've only got, oh, a couple of hundred thousand years to do so. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, thank you, Ryan. And that was filmed before the current lockdown. Yes. Um, we have had tons of messages in tonight.